So as you're working through this, thinking about your trading targets, thinking about your expectations, thinking about your goals, this is something to help you and to guide you along, right? Several things to think about. How much are you going to be trading with? What is your trading capital? It could be 500, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, a million dollars. If it's a million dollars, reach out to me. I'll be happy to get to know you better. All right. It could be any amount, but you need to put in what is your trading capital. And from that trading capital, what is your targeted returns? How much would you like to make on a month? Let's put it as a monthly basis. On a monthly basis, what is your targeted returns? And then based on that, you calculate down your trade size and the number of pips to achieve your target. I've got some examples here for you. <clears throat> okay, let's assume that I've got one, two, three, four, five examples. If you have $500 trading capital and you're looking at a 5% return, 5% return in a month, you're looking at $25 return, your trade size should not be more than five micro lots at any point in time. With that said, your number of pips to achieve this 5% return is 50. I'm going to skip a thousand. If you have $2,000 and you're looking for 5% returns, looking at a hundred dollars um, for the month, your maximum trade size at any point in time should not be more than two mini lots. Again, the number of pips you would need to achieve that target will be 50. Even if you have $10,000 in your trading capital and your target is 5% as a starting point, your targeted returns will be $500. Your maximum trade size at any point in time will be one standard lot. Your maximum num your number of pips to achieve this target will be 50. Did you take, did you see the whole thing here? No matter what, whatever your trading capital is, if you're looking at a 5% return in a month, every month, firstly, in a year, you will be 60% returns. And out of that, all you need to do is achieve 50 pips in a month. And 50 pips in a month divided by 20 days means you need 2.5 pips a day. Putting that out there, understanding that you only need 50 pips in a month to achieve a 5% target should tell you that you don't need to overtrade. Should tell you that you don't need to gamble. It should tell you that you shouldn't be looking for that silver bullet. It should tell you that 50 pips is going to be quite easy to achieve. It should tell you that you shouldn't trade bigger than you, than your trading capital allows as well. Okay. So what I hope for you to do at this point of after this session is to start thinking about what trading capital size you will be trading with. What kind of targets will you be looking for? How much would that mean? What trade size would that translate to? And what kind of pips per month you will try to achieve? I think if you work through this, you'll realize that you're not looking for a lot of pips per month. And by understanding that will give you the better understanding that you don't have to overtrade. You don't have to take on more risk than you should. And you can actually stick to a strategy, take time to learn, to practice, to review, to ask questions, to have a coach to guide you through the whole process. Okay. So my last one, actually, um, the next session we have is going to be about fundamental analysis. Understanding how economics will tell you whether the price of the currency should go up higher or lower 
which ones are leading or lagging indicators. Understanding that you do not need to know every economic news. There are only seven ones to take note of. Understanding that economic data can tell you a lot more than the number that's actually released and a lot more information on fundamentals.